Coming to you from Ripley Labs, today we're going to review the SCS Semicon Scoring Tool. The patented tool is designed to make precision depth score marks on the Semicon layer of medium and high voltage power cables with peelable Semicon. The tool features a V-jaw to accept a wide range of cable sizes. It has a micro-indexing blade depth adjustment with two thousandths of an inch increments per click. The blade head assembly rotates. The tool can be set to a ring cutting action or a spiral cutting position with multiple speeds, depending on the cable diameter, allowing you to dial in the chip width as you spiral down the cable. It also has a longitudinal cut position. We also offer the SCS Max to expand the size range of the SCS platform. It has a maximum cable size of 2.96 inches or 75 millimeters, expanding the full range of the SCS. Today we're going to focus on the standard SCS, but the SCS Max operates the same way. To operate the SCS, dial in the blade height based on the semicon thickness you're working with. Set the tool to the ring cut position and load the tool over the cable. It can be mid-span loaded and doesn't need to be slid over the end. Do the ring cut and then set the tool to a spiral position based on the cable diameter and you have full control over the chip width by picking one of the four speeds. Once you reach the end of the cable, carefully remove the tool from the cable. You're now ready for the peelable semicon. A good pair of flat nose pliers will do the trick to remove the semicon. If you had the blade depth set to just over the insulation, you'll get a damage free cut. Only the semicon layer will be scored, as this operation shows. Once you get to the end, carefully remove for a precise ring cut with no jagged edges or any tears. No damage was done to this cable, and a perfect surface finish remains. Next we're going to demonstrate the SCS in a longitudinal cut position. For this we're going to use the SCS clamp to help establish where the ring cut position to help make easy work when you're trying to do multiple longitudinal cuts. First set the tool in the ring cut position and do your first ring cut. Then set the tool to the longitudinal cut position and pull the tool down the length of the cable. Reload the tool and butt it up against the clamp and make another longitudinal cut. Now you repeat the process so you can peel the semicon off the cable. Today we reviewed a number of tools but the focus was on the SCS but Ripley also offers a wide selection of tools such as the WS64 which is what we use to prepare the cable for the demonstration. This is a great tool for JCN underground cable jacket removal. We also offer a bushing based WS5 platform which can be operated in drill mode for multiple cable diameters. And we also have a chamfering tool, the US10 platform, which makes quick and precise chamfers on EPR and XLPE insulations. Thank you for watching today's video on the SCS and underground cable preparation.